Now let's discuss question number 74. It states here that choose the correct option in place of question mark. So here you can see this is a number analogy. Here we have the relationship between this number 2345 and 41. Similar relationship is present in these two pairs as well as this one and this one too. Very first let's try to identify the pattern and the coding which is being used here to obtain this number 41 for the first number 2345. So when you consider this number, let me help you with the pattern. In this case, if you take 2 plus 3 plus 5 and you multiply it with 4 and add 1 to it, what is it going to result? So here, let's consider this is first number, this is second, this is third and this is fourth. Taking this into consideration, what I have done? I have taken first, second and fourth number and I have added these three, then I have multiplied four to it. That means I have multiplied the third number to it. After that, I have added one. So this simplifies to the value equal to 41 and this number is related to this number 41. In the similar manner, we have this number. If we follow the same pattern, then you got to consider first, second and fourth number. That is, you will be further simplifying it as 2 plus 1 plus 6. Next, you will multiply the third number to it, which is 5 and you will add 1 to it. And this clearly gives me 9 into 5, 45 plus 1, 46. That means this is the pattern being followed in each of the pair. So let's consider here 5535. And if I consider this and apply here the same pattern, then in that case, I get here 5 plus 5 plus 5. That is first, second and fourth number and I multiply the third number to it which is 3. So this is 5 plus 5 plus 5, 15 into 3 that is equal to 45 plus 1 equal to 46. So here the answer should be 46 in place of question mark. So out of these options you can clearly find 46 is option number 1. So you can mark here the answer for this question as option 1. I hope it is clear to you. Now let's proceed to our next question. Here I have question number 75. It states, choose the correct number in place of question mark. Here you can see you have the arrangement of the numbers. These numbers represent some pattern here and the same pattern will be followed in each of these sequences. So in this arrangement, here let's try to identify the pattern and obtain the number in place of question mark. So here if I consider the number 4, then in that case you can see the square of 4 is 16. 16 minus 4 gives me 12. In similar way when I consider square of 6, 6 square is 36 minus 6 gives me 30. So what I have done, I have taken the first two numbers, I have obtained their square and subtracted the number from itself. So 4 square minus 4, 6 square minus 6. Then when you take sum total of these two, it gives you the third number 42. Let's observe the same pattern there in the second arrangement. If I consider here 8, 8 square minus 8, that is equal to 64 minus 8 equal to 56. Next I have number 9, 9 square minus 9, that is 81 minus 9, I get 72. When you take sum total of these two, you obtain 128. So this is the pattern being followed in all of them. So let's apply it to the third one and here we get clearly I have 5, 5 square minus 5 gives me 20 and I have number 9, 9 square minus 9 gives me the number 72. When you take sum total of these two, you obtain here 92. That means the number in place of question mark should be 92. So out of these options provided here, you can clearly see that I have the number 92, which is option number 2. So just mark your answer as option 2, that is 92. So the correct answer in this case is option 2. I hope it is clear to you. Now let's take up our next question. Here I have question number 76 and 77. These both are questions related to this given direction. It states that in a certain code language, M is coded as 961. A is coded as 100, L is coded as 441, O is coded as 2601, H is coded as 6400. Now answer the following question where we have these two following 
questions. So, this is an interesting question related to coding and decoding. Very first, let us try to decode the pattern involved. As it has been stated, M is coded as 961. When you consider number M, alphabet M, M has the alphabet position of 13. And when you take reverse of 13, you get 31, where square of 31 results 961. In similar manner, when I take A, A has alphabet position of 1. And when you consider that it is 0, 1 and you take its reverse, you get 10 square equal to 100. Next, coming to the alphabet L, L has the alphabet position of 12. And when you take reverse of these two digits, you obtain 21, where square of 21 is 441. So, this is the pattern followed in all of these numbers. So, this is the code for it. Now, let us use it and find the answer to question number 76 and 77. Here, when I talk about question number 76, it states the code for T is. So, now let us find an answer to this using that code. As we know, T is at the alphabet position of 20 and when you take reverse of that, you obtain here 0, 2 and square of 0, 2 results 4. That means, the code for T should be 4. So, here out of these options, clearly option number 4 gives me the correct answer as 4. So, here answer is option 4. I hope it is clear to you. Now, let us take up question number 77. In question number 77, it has been stated the code for run is, here we are talking about 3 letters and using these 3 letters we will obtain the code and arrange them respectively to get the code for run. So, very first we have the alphabet R. R comes at the alphabet position that is equal to 18 and reverse of that is 81. When you take square of 81, you obtain here 6561. So, this is the code for R. Next, talking about U. U comes at the alphabet position that is equal to 21 and reverse of that is 12. When you take square of that, you obtain 144. Then comes N. N has the alphabet position of 14, its reverse is 41. When you take square of 41, you obtain 1681. Now, the code for run will be followed by these numbers in same order. So, the required code should be 6561, 144, 1681. Where can you find the correct answer out of these options? So, when you observe all these options, the correct answer is found here in option number 3. So, you can definitely mark your answer which is option number 3. So, we get here the correct answer for this question as option 3. I hope it is clear to you. Now, let us proceed to our next question.